Hey people, it's me Tristan and these papers here are uh, my project handling thingy. A great way to keeping track of uh, all the projects and stuff that I build and paint. So, uh, I usually try to make them unit based and once it's done I color the box in and write down the date when I finished it. So it's quite fun. During the last year, in 2015, I painted 511 miniatures. It also includes like every little dude is also a single piece, so that's that. So, uh, what's coming up in the new year? Of course, I want to finish this painting this beast at one point. As you can see, I've already primed the turret. Nick was kind enough to send me this piece. It's from Kingdom Death. It's the King's Man. It's supposed to be an evil character. Quite an interesting mini. Especially the material. It's like this hard plastic. And it went together quite well. I'm just gonna prime it and paint it and see what it uh, turns out to be. You might remember I'm doing the Batman thing. So for Christmas I got this. Uh, it's Killer Croc. And this miniature is freaking big. Compared to Batman, just check this out. Of course, I'm still working on the Napoleon diorama. Unfortunately, I did not finish for it for the black powder paint off challenge, but it's coming along, so the base is uh, ready to be painted. Here's the French dudes on the back side here that they will come here. I've started with them already. Also, working on the horse, it's gonna be this white color. We're still working on the tail and on the hair, but it's coming along quite nicely. I'm, I'm happy with it. And I've finished Napoleon himself. On the painting, his right hand should be like uh, without the glove. But it was modeled in this way and I think the glove will fit better. Unfortunately, a little tip here chipped before I could varnish it. So I'm gonna, and here as well, so I'm gonna redo that. I, at least it's the top highlight, so it's the easiest one to replicate. And then varnish it and put it aside in a safe place so it wouldn't chip anymore. I'm just going to show you another project that I finished during the last year. I think in even December or something. It's uh, my regular gaming group that we play D&D with. I made uh, miniatures for all of their characters. The ranger and... She's al she also has a hawk with her, but couldn't find the perfect mini, so until I did that, uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm using this great little uh, birdie figure that the tree found. So what would be a game of Dungeons & Dragons with, uh, without any villains? So this here is Evil uh, Lord, it's from Reaper Minis. A fast paint job, nothing, uh, nothing specific. And here's a... Uh, uh, Ghost Lord, so like a Grim Reaper, and this mini is from Nick as well. I wanted to use it as a undead uh, monstrosity or something, so that's why I put it on a square base, so I could use it in a in other games as well. So at the end of the year, I made this sweet trade with a local player that I got these forty mantic skeletons. And I painted them up for the Dungeons and Dragons thingy, but as before, I could very well use them in Warhammer or Kings of War or whatever. And half of them I painted up as uh, ghosts. It was rather easy; just sprayed them white and used Biltan uh, greenish wash on them. That was it. And the skeletons, well. I tried to paint them as fast as I could, and it did actually go really, really fast. Just base coats and washes, nothing else. So another thing happened last year, which was very exciting, that uh, uh, Gurchin was so nice, he sent me one of his giants. I built it and painted it up, and uh, I'm, I'm really happy with the outcome. And I really like the giant miniature, specifically this one these weird bottles on him uh, pan shields all these pieces here mushrooms, flowers, rocks on the base 
an orcus shield of some sort and of course the face I'm, I'm quite happy with the face and the skin overall and of course the ginger hair and this is Gurchin the Horrible the tree was done so that I just painted it up as a tree uh, I drilled holes here and used paper clips to bend out these little uh, branches and then green stuff them afterwards and made them look like you know branches and stuff and once it was painted and uh, varnished I glued down these clump foliage and once they were uh, dried I think I applied two coats of uh, watered down white glue and now it's 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 really hard it's not even fluffy anymore it's it's really tough so I'm I'm positive that it won't come off so yeah this is a giant a giant into an army that I will show off soon enough but yeah it's quite exciting I also got a piece uh, an addition for the drop zone commander army but that will come in a different video so I hope uh, everyone's going to have a magical hobby year and uh, get on with your projects. I know some of you are going to take on these massive ideas like, for example, Mr. Superchip is going to paint up like 120 Romans in the next four months. So good luck to him with that. Thank you for watching. Keep it safe and I will talk to you in the next one.